It's not quite 8 p.m. where I am after the match. It's quite later that I'm doing this and as usual I have the notes on my laptop to the left of me but I feel like I won't be needing that one because we've watched two identical matches this week for my United. One in the Carabao Cup with our second team against West Ham and one in the Premier League against Aston Villa with our first team. If you look at the stats alone, we had double the amount of shots, we have double figures in the amount of shots on target, but none of them were clear chances. It was half chances. I couldn't remember on the top of my head if there was any one, any one of them that was dangerous enough to look at as, oh, it's almost a goal because the same problems, the same game management, we have lost three out of the four games and even that one win was in the 80th minute, 88th minute winner and we almost drew that one after a penalty miss and we almost drew this one after another penalty miss this time from Bruno Fernandes which I've never seen him do that, I've never seen him run up so aggressively and shot <laughs> the penalty that hard, it went that really high and Gotta give props to Emiliano Martinez for that one, for getting to his head. He wouldn't be the one to admit this, but I think he was under pressure to take the penalty and he missed it. But yeah, the same problems. The thing is, when we're, when we're playing good, we're playing well, Ole makes changes in the 60th minute to take out. Oh, okay, we're playing well, but there's this one player who's playing bad. It could be Fred, it could be Martial. We're gonna take them off. Put someone else who gives it gives them a chance. Or Jaden Sanjo who needed minutes, or or uh, Greenwood who needs minutes, or Van der Beek who needs minutes. But when it's playing bad, whether we win, whether we draw, or whether we're losing, if we're playing bad, Ole has this thing where he wants to show the world that he trusts his players, and. Doesn't matter if it's against West Ham in the Premier League or today in the Premier League against Aston Villa, he will wait longer for some reason. He won't change it. I remember against West Ham, he didn't change until the 70th minute. He bring on Lingard, and I was frustrated because like you could have made that change 10 minutes earlier. Same with this, Edison Cavani, we made the change at the 80th minute when we should have done that 20 minutes ago. So the same thing has been going on with Oli. The same problems keep coming to him and he keeps making the same mistakes again and again. And more questions has to be made to ask of him because it's been the same thing for three years for Oli where we haven't done, where, we, where we, he has the chance to look at it after the first half. 15 minute break, he could have looked at it, what was wrong, but he, do, he does it. He doesn't change. He doesn't change until the 70th minute, 80th minute, 90th minute. And the players, the players as well, has to take a lot of blame for this. It feels like this one hurts more because this one, you can see there were spaces. This one was more open. Aston Villa's defense were more attack it, it was it was there for the taking and there was a lot of chance i have not cannot count how many times bruno fernandes shot from outside the box that's who he is he's gonna miss 10 before he scores one he's gonna he's gonna miss 10 before he scores against leeds and another one was greenwood inside the box this time and he had a lot of chances where he could have passed it. It was the it was the easier option. It was the safer option. It was a clear chance option where he could have passed. There was one where he could have passed to Bruno Fernandes, but he, he decides to shoot, and most most of his shot was straight to Emiliano Martinez's body, to his hands. And there was a lot of chances. Cristiano Ronaldo had a, even Paul Pogba had chances, but. Yeah, that's what it was, that padding. We were, had a lot of shots. We had a lot of shots outside the box, inside the box, but it was either off target or it was straight to Emiliano Martinez's hands. So there was that. There was a lot of problems. 
and it's the same one over and over again and we need to change change i don't know change formation change the tactic the game plan we we play because now we've lost harry Maguire and luke shaw and it's not gonna look better in the weeks after but i still I don't want to say I still have faith in Oli, but I still want to support him because you, gotta, you have to remember that Sir Alex Ferguson didn't win anything when he was starting out as a manager until the th three years he was in the job and he won an FA Cup. I think it was 1988. And oh yeah, I've always said it gives him time and it's his third season. so. And this, with the squad he has, the squad he has built, it was a, it's a good squad he has built. It, it, a squad to his liking, to his game plan, to his tactic. This squad is his. So I would at least give him until the end of the season to see where we are. And then we can assess if he should stay or go, which I think he should still should stay until the end of the season. So, yeah. Same. 1-0 loss, same tactics, different players, same problems, same solutions that didn't work out. So, yeah. I'll see you next week, I think. The football has, there was, it has, there have been four matches in two weeks, so more matches coming. See you.